identify these individually because this is what you're being tested on, a single tooth. Okay, so we have our box of teeth up here. Make sure you're familiar with what a single teeth tooth by itself looks like because that's what's going to show up on the fraction. Okay, we have other teeth models that I put out over here and then in the auditorium also. Those ones are possible, like possibilities to show up on the exam, but these ones notoriously do show up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go through and show you on with my two views different ways that you can identify these. Um, and actually, before I do that, I'm going to back up just a second on page 11, which is where I'm going to be starting. I'm going to be at the very bottom of that page where it says oral <coughs> cavity models. There are three oral cavity structures that I'm going to explain right now that you'll be needing to identify. Uh, so for this one, where's my... There we go. Okay, so we have a couple of models that look like this. There's two board models over here that have this structure on it. The half heads also will have these structures on them. And yeah, I think that's it. So the board models and the half heads. So make sure that those are the ones that you're looking at. Now for these three structures, the hard and soft palate, if we were back to bones, the palate was right here, right? And I'm sure you know where your palate is, just the roof of your mouth. The portion that's made of bone is the hard palate. The portion that's made of soft tissue is the soft palate. And then the tongue is just this entire big muscle here. Although expect us to be tricky and put it like down here in the muscle and opposed to up here where it's like obviously tongue. Okay. This entire chunk of muscle right here. That's all the tongue. Okay. Now jumping to page 12, that's where we're going to start with tooth types. So with tooth types, here's just a picture of all the teeth laid out from the center of the mouth out. Um, when you're looking at these, a good place to start is just by noting how many of each tooth you have. So starting from the center line and working in either direction, you have two incisors, one canine, two premolars, and three molars. Okay? Looking at the front surface, you can tell your incisors from any other tooth because on both the top and the bottom, they have these nice flat edges. Okay? These are your biting teeth. So they don't have much of a chewing surface. They actually don't have like any chewing surface at all but they're very, very pointy, and they're flat across, okay? They're the only teeth that are perfectly flat across. If you have a tooth and it looks even slightly not flat across, probably not an incisor. If we look at it from the top down, you'll see that, again, there's these are chewing surfaces here. There is no chewing surface. It's just a very, very steep slope down to the root, okay? This is literally just a sharp edge. That's all there is to incisors. Now working our way back, we have canines, and looking at the front, you can tell it's a canine because it has this point. All right, the points are a little more defined on the top. I think the canine we have is a lower canine, so it's a more sloped point, but it's definitely a point relative to these flat tops that you see over here. And here's the trick though. If you look next to it, you see how these premolars kind of look like they have a little bit of a point too. The way that you would tell those two apart is by looking at the chewing surfaces. Here's the canine. It slopes down as if it's an incisor. The premolar, even though it has that point, has this big flat chewing surface. The canine does not have a chewing surface. So it's basically a pointy incisor. All right, next we have the premolars and the molars. So the best way to identify that these are either a premolar or a molar is by the flat surface. If it has a flat surface, it's going to have the word molar in there somewhere. All right, that's kind of what the molar is. The way that you will decipher whether it's a premolar from a just regular molar is by looking at the roots. These two are premolars, and you can see that they just have a single root going down, but the molars in the back have either two or three roots. So the ones on the bottom you see have two. On top, they have three. So that's how you'll identify these as molars, because they have multiple roots, versus premolars that just have a single root. Okay? Um, obviously, you can use size and other things to tell these apart, but if you're just given a single tooth, you don't really have anything to compare it against. So these are kind of tricks that might help you in that instance. Um, any questions before you go into tooth structures? Okay, so if you look on the tooth structure list, there's five things. The crown and the root, I'll be asking you to identify those in the exam as ID structure, okay? 
for the last three enamel, dentin, and pulp cavity, those are technically layers. So I'll be asking you to identify the layers for those ones. Okay. So as far as the structures go, you have the crown and the root. The dividing line between what's a crown and what's a root is essentially what's showing and what's below the gum line. So our tooth models that you'll see are just like this. The part that's above the root is shown in white. The part that's below the root is shown in a yellow color. So the crowns will be white, the roots will be yellow. It's above and below the gum surface. Now the next three, enamel, dentin, and pulp cavity, are the layers working their way from superficial to deep on the teeth. So the layer that you see present on the teeth in this picture is the enamel. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to show you on these teeth models it's a little bit easier that way. But some of these teeth as you see come apart. All right. So we asking you to layers like this also. So if you're on like the side versus the outside also. So you'll see that the outermost layer is not very thick, maybe about two millimeters, three millimeters at best, and it doesn't have much of a texture, it's just smooth. That's going to be the enamel. Now the dentin is the next layer in, and it has kind of like that striation, almost looking pattern on it. And that's the dentin. And then the cavity in the middle that's pink, that is the pulp cavity. Now we actually have pulp present on the other half of the tooth, but we'll still call that pulp cavity, okay? So you may or may not have actual pulp when being asked for the pulp cavity of the tooth. All right, any questions on that? All right, great, so that's it for the first demo. Do make sure you take a look.